the upcoming generation is extremely concerned about the state of our climate system, how do we take away that impact associated with our travel? This is conventional petroleum-based fossil fuel that we fly on today. That's jet fuel. Now here, we have some samples, and this is sustainable aviation fuel. It blends with conventional jet fuel, so this is the future. So here we have our signed climate pledge letter from December 2020. I remember sitting in that meeting room with Robin, our CEO, and I gave him this whole pitch about why we needed to sign it. And then I said, so what do you think? And he said, Sarah, I signed it when I first walked into the meeting. The Climate Pledge was a commitment to get to net zero carbon by 2040. And we did that because we know as an industry that we are an emitter of carbon. We also recognize that we are one of the hardest industries to decarbonize. In January 2020, we announced we were going to be the first airline in the US to voluntarily offset all of our domestic emissions and also to fly regularly on sustainable aviation fuel from our partner Neste out of San Francisco International Airport. In the last year or so, I have never seen so much collaboration. So many partners are now saying, how do we work together through the Climate Pledge to decarbonize aviation? Well, this is the tower where the magic happens. Uh, this is our SAF tower. So it's connected directly to the tanks where the feed comes into this tower. The climate pledge for Nest Day is very ambitious. We partner with airlines such as JetBlue to be net zero by 2040. My mission has been to bring sustainable aviation fuel to the market and bring in a product that actually helps the environment. SAF is the key component to the future of flight. It's made out of renewable sources, so we are not pulling crude oil out of the ground. We are taking waste residues such as used cooking oils. We collect that and then take it through our process of either treatment and isomerization to actually make the SAF. You can take the SAF, you blend it with conventional jet fuel. It is 80% reduction in CO2. So this is a renewable fuels facility. Yes. It feels pretty powerful to be standing on one of the very few renewable fuels plants. Yeah, exactly. This is how we can make the change that we yeah. need. If you look at the aviation industry as a whole, it is about 2 to 3% of the global CO2 emissions. And if you put it into a country, it'd be the seventh largest emitter of CO2 emissions in the world. We cannot continue to add CO2 emissions from aviation into the atmosphere. Even though sustainable aviation fuel is well proven, the price of a gallon is twice the price, which of course limits how much we can buy. We as an industry have been supportive of additional incentives to bring down this price premium. The cheaper it is, the more that we can buy. You've heard of the phrase chicken and egg, and I feel that that is where we are with SAF today. The airlines want it, but we know to really kickstart SAF production, it's also going to require support from government. And it's really critical for us to look at the incentive side of things. And that's where Port Authority can also play a very big role so on the advocacy side as well. And you have a lot of room to grow the Houston uh, refinery? Because we need more SAF, yeah. you know, we need more SAF. Our we SAF. need it now. <laughs> We want to get into New York, we want to get into all of these major airport areas to be able to use this fuel and start decarbonizing this industry. Um, we're going to check out one of our Airbus 321 aircrafts. My dream has always been to become a pilot. I remember being really small and looking up at aircrafts with my parents and saying, someday I'm going to be working in this industry. This is like the first time I'm in the cockpit, so yeah? I'm kind of like a kid in this toy store right now. <laughs> How does it feel? Do you it feel like you can amazing. see yourself here? It feels amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Air travel is very dear. It connects people. You can go explore the world. When I'm above the clouds, it really puts everything into perspective. There's many people just like me. We all are responding to the reality of our climate crisis, and we can work together to be a part of a solution.